Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips here. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. We are using curriculum from Christian Light Education, and this is Language Arts 7, Book 1. Grade 7, Lesson 4, Adverbs. Yesterday we talked about verbs. Verbs are words that show action or being. Good. Verbs are words that show action or being. And what kind of words are these? Amazon was verb even being. Those are... Being verbs, good. And they can also be helping verbs, but the helping verbs will include other words as well, such as have, has, had, do, does, did, may, might, must, can, could, shall, should, and will, would. Now, today we're going to learn about adverbs. Adverbs are another the part of speech. Nouns and verbs, I believe we've covered. Now we're up to adverbs. Let's write it up. And adverbs modify... Now, here's where I've got a little problem with this lesson today. It says adverbs just modify verbs. And that's because I think later you'll learn that they modify other things. You're not big enough yet, okay? When you get a little bit bigger, then we'll learn. But at this point, it's just verbs. You can't. They modify adverbs and adjectives, too. But all we're doing today is verbs. So, they modify verbs. Um, and they tell this about verbs. They tell... Not which, who's, how many, or what kind of. They tell how, when, where, and to what extent. Okay, I learned when I was in school to what degree. So I'm going to probably say to what degree a lot. That means the same thing as extent. To what extent. I am hurting. To what degree. Very badly. Okay, very badly. Badly says to what says I'm hurting, how I'm hurting. And then very says to what degree. Not just badly, but very badly. It's saying to what degree or to what to what extent. So adverbs are words that modify verbs and they tell how, when, where, or to what degree. Can we find a few adverbs in this sentence? I didn't see the storks fly away yesterday. 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 Any more? Away, home. away, and then there's and one. Did it. did it good? It's although not quite the whole thing, just and. a just a mm, part of it because that stands for did not. Now let's diagram this guy. Let's find the verb first. I want to hear the verb, not the noun. C. C. Excellent. And then who or what? C. Stork. Uh. Sorry, I need to take back my words. Not excellent. Half excellent. What is the verb? Didn't see. Didn't see? We're still almost on half excellent. Why? What is the complete verb? Didn't see. It's see. Did see. I was going to see. Did see. Who or what did see? I. See, we had to cut up this and make this did not. I did not see. So that's really the sentence we're diagramming now is I did not see. So I did see. Um, I did see who or what? Direct object storks. And this is all bigger than you are yet in this classroom, the storks. So we did that. You know how to do this. I'm sure you've done this in sixth yeah. grade. But so far in seventh grade, we haven't done it. So we're going to pretend like you don't know how to do that yet. I did not see. Oh. Oh boy. Not goes under this, right? Oh boy. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, here's the problem. The problem is that this sentence has a noun clause in it. And noun clauses are definitely bigger than you are. They're definitely for not until you get like in ninth and tenth grade. Or like till you get quite a bit bigger than seventh grade. Um, so actually, it's not this, it's I did see, and then we're going to do, and I'm, we're going to go ahead and diagram it, because we're going to pretend like you're, like you're big enough. And up here, we have a whole other sentence. So let's take off this whole part. Let's X off this part. The storks fly away yesterday. What's the verb in there? Fly. Fly. And what's the subject? Storks. Storks. And then away and yesterday go where? Under fly. Under fly. They modify the verb. So away tells where and yesterday tells when. 
And then we missed our knot. Not because under the bird. Yeah, okay. it's like the... It wasn't a very good um, practice sentence because it had this big clause in it. I should have just taken one straight out of the straight out of the book. Okay, remember this part. Adverbs are words that modify verbs. Uh, did does not kind of modifies the, the did see. So adverbs are words that modify verbs and they tell how, when, where, and to what extent. The diagrams that you have today are pretty easy actually, very easy, because the adverbs always just modify verbs. So put the adverbs under the words they modify and you should, you should be good. Okay, let's review a little bit of capitalization yet. Capitalization in brand name. Suppose you drive a Gotcha car. Okay? We will only capitalize gotcha, not capitalize car as well. Suppose you drive a Volkswagen bus. You would capitalize Volkswagen, but not bus. Suppose you buy a. Okay, Lamborghini, we're going to get away from cars. Suppose you buy a John Deere tractor. You would capitalize John Deere but not tractor. And suppose you buy a Whirlpool washing machine. You would capitalize Whirlpool because it's a brand name. Other brand names such as Apple, such as Microsoft. You buy a Microsoft computer. You would capitalize Microsoft, but not the computer. So when it comes to brand names, capitalize that, the brand name, but don't capitalize the actual, actual object that you bought. Also capitalize school subjects if to have to do with a language. English, Romanian, Spanish, German, those would be capitalized if it's a subject studying a language. But, um, and then also if they include numbers with them. Geometry 2, algebra 2. Okay, carry on with your work.